I was all sorts of fucked up and manipulated and and yeah. Um, looking back now, I wish that I had someone that I listened to tell me things more. Like people were telling me stuff, but I just did not listen. Looking back now, it's like damn. Yeah, that was did, really dumb, huh? But did, did they do the whole, oh, you shouldn't do that, stay away from them kind of thing? Holy fucking internet! Um, listen, I was put in a cage and I stayed with the guy, so... What the oh, fuck oh. is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not with him now, obviously. The fuck? Just girly things. Honestly, yeah. Is it F or is it back? Look, I'm stronger now. It took being, you know, all sorts of fucked up to get to where I am. It was like a growing experience. How big was the cage? Refresh if it's still F for you. Um, it wasn't tiny, but like there was no toilet. Mm, yeah. How long were you in it for? Like five six hours what the fuck is wrong with the two of you how do you all fucking get to the point where you can have shit like this done to you Ah, uh, you know i watched my parents be murdered in front of me hmm. and then i just like yeah. seek love and validation from anyone that will give it to me you know yeah, my uh my birth mom got killed and i didn't get to say goodbye to her yeah, f fuck your parents fuck your parents I literally killed oh, yeah, my no, mother no, and father. They're terrible, they were terrible people. But it still affects you. Ow! Because they're supposed nice. to love you and they don't, so you like seek it from other people. Yeah, but. Maybe it's my deep swimming daddy issues that fucks me up. I don't know. Well, that doesn't fucking surprise me. Uh, uh, that makes sense. That fits the fucking bill. Yeah, so you're just sitting here. Wanting fucking... Uh, oh my fucking god. Holy shit. The both of you are fucked. Oh yeah, no, I already knew that. Yep. So so you both just want fucking... Oh my god. You, you know what? The more I hear this shit, the, the more that I realise killing my parents was a smart idea for my fucking future. Holy shit. That's... That's something. See, I'm not someone that, that seeks fucking mummy or daddy's validation from someone else or anything like that to the point where it just fucking destroys my life further. I just destroyed my life as it was and then moved on from it. Yeah? I think I have a pretty easy. good life at the moment, though. Okay, like well, I'm not the one that was put in a fucking cage, was I? I said at the moment. Right. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're right, you... Please hold. Michael, I am having a horrible therapy session right now. Oh, no. Welcome back. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, I'm glad. You, you had a little fucking party pop before me thing? That's great. I have more. You want to hear? Okay. Right. Can you, can, can you do me a solid? Can you inhale that instead so it gets stuck in your throat? Hey, oi. No, get this. Get this. <laughs> I just had to pay my fucking asset fees and it's now 94k. It's like uh, 96 or something like that. I think it's up 60 fucking grand. What the fuck? Is that a me problem? Yes, because I'm pretty sure it's the fucking van. Oh yeah, it probably is. So now I need to go back and see the difference in between the two and you're going to have to get fucking refunded because fuck that. I ain't paying 60 grand extra. What the fuck? Bullshit. Well, you can just take it from the fucking company. Well, that's what I'm going to do, but I need to work out exactly how much it is so it actually balances. Oh, right. How long are you awake for? Five minutes. Oh. I was going to say, you should join in on this therapy session. I think you, I think you would learn a lot from this, to be honest. So it's talking about people Why? with daddy and mummy issues right now. Oh, I don't know if I want to be part of that. I already had a fucking therapy session yesterday, and I don't like it. I still don't right. like it. Right. Well, I'm running this therapy session. I, uh, you, you know what, Reggie? Let me ask you this. Okay. Are you in the tower? Yes. No. If what? I asked you to die for me, would you? No. Good. See? See? 
Why, why, why would that even be a question? That, I don't know. That's the thing. What? Oh, that's where did I'm... this come from? That's a long story. Very long. Well, listen, I did risk uh, getting fucked up and sent to jail for a very long time. Yeah, for but you. that's different. Right? I don't care about people getting fucked up or doing shit that might risk. I'm, I'm asking straight up. Right. Well, I've got a question for you, Michael. What is that? Would you be willing to take a knife for me? Would I take a knife for you? Yeah. I don't fucking know. It really depends. Right. I was going to stab you if you said yes. Kind of fucked up, right? That's kind of rude. Anyway, Aria, meet Michael. Michael, meet Aria. Hello. Hello. So, uh, we're talking currently. Um, hey, you know how... Actually, I, I won't say that. So, uh, you know what's been popping up recently uh, a lot for me? Sanguine. No, uh, the Italians. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they just keep fucking popping up randomly and people keep talking about them. It's fucking interesting. They're flying high on my fucking radar right now, I tell you what. It's in there. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So anyway. Uh, so could you imagine, right, uh, you're fucking dating someone and then you decide you're going to fucking torture them, right? And then afterwards, afterwards, you continue talking to them and, and then that person says to you that they got their stitches removed from their mouth and you would say, that's good. What kind of fucked up manipulation shit is that? That's fucking wild. You know what, I, you know what? after the conversation I had yesterday, I'm not even surprised anymore. <sighs> and I think, I think, honestly, I think that Ari would be dumb enough that if she got in close enough that she would take him back. I'm not doing that. You say no. Well, uh, before I lose my mind again. What? You have fun. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I just fucking... He could have been my uncle. What do you mean he could have been your uncle? What? Because my mom was dating his brother. Jesus fucking Christ. That's what comes to your mind then? That's what comes to your mind. Oh, Jesus fucking. You do Speaking have fucking. Family. Yes. Yeah, yeah, see? Fucking hell. Hey, Arya, you want to start calling me daddy? I'll tell you what, I can <laughs> fuck up your life more than your fucking dad did. Tell you what. Fucking hell. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, chat. What? You, you thought I meant something different, didn't you? Eh. <laughs> 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 They got you fucking there. Ah, I. Mm. Right. So, uh, my advice. What? Please hold. Yes. Why is everyone so fucked up? I have no idea. Why can't I literally people had be like this me? Convers I. <laughs> okay, well, that's also. I literally had this conversation. I'm not what? fucked up. The fuck? Hold on. The fuck's that supposed to mean? No, you're a little, you're a little bit cooked. Oh, I, I might be cooked and I might be fucking twisted, but I'm not fucked up. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Right. What? Nothing. Tell me I'm wrong. Would you not rather be at a point in your life where you can't get got to by people around you and you do not give the flying fuck about other shit, you're not going to sit there and be all fucking sad about shit happening, right? If something happens, you just turn around and you fuck them harder. <laughs> you really do have a way with words, huh? I do. I did just ask Ari if she wants me to be her daddy. Okay. Yeah, but it wasn't in that way. I was just, I followed it up afterwards saying that, um, so I can fuck your life up more than your dad did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Harder as well, apparently. Yeah, you two... <laughs> Think Sorry. about what you say. What are you two laughing about? This is a joking matter. What the fuck? All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Jesus no, Christ. I understand. Well, I don't know if you run into fucking Jenny, you can talk to her. 
about it. Oh god, what happened she, now? She, she, she's literally the same type with fucking prep. So yeah, that's true. I don't understand. I can't like I had this conversation yesterday. It was like I can't have. I cannot. Cannot wrap my head around that somebody has so much loyalty to people. Yeah, I don't understand people who get hung up on other people. That, that shit confused me. But that's also because I don't keep people anywhere close to me. So there's that. Mm. Right. Well, you have fun with your daddy session. All right, you enjoy fisting yourself back in your apartment. Okay, cunt. Fun. See you later. <laughs> Holy fucking my ear. Oh! Fucking... You know those fucking party things that, that you fucking extend to make that horrible sound? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he keeps blowing one into the fucking phone, the cunt. Oh my god, they're yeah. so annoying. Yeah, I told him to fucking swallow it. Oh my god. Okay. Right, right. So what we need to do is we need to get you void of emotions, all right? So you don't give a fuck about other people like that. And then you can just be happy with yourself, yeah? Actually, that's... That's a valid question. Are you, are you happy with yourself? No. Do you like yourself? Sometimes. Other times I think I'm fucking stupid. Right. Okay, so I've explained this to people before, yeah? It's quite simple. A lot of people, a lot of people seek validation from other people, yeah? They, they want to be liked, uh, welcome to all that kind of shit, loved. Yeah. Right? However... They don't like themselves. If you don't like yourself, how the fuck do you expect someone else to like you? That's the thing I never understand, yeah? Not wrong. Like, I don't care about what fucked up shit you've been through in your past. You need to give a fuck about yourself because I can tell you right now, there is no one else in this world. There is no one else in this fucking world that will give a fuck about you more than yourself. Yeah? Because you have this hardwired inside of you that you need to survive. Right? Your body does so many different things as, as we fucking breathe, all that kind of shit to keep you surviving and living. Yeah? So if your body gives a fuck about yourself, why can't you? Because I'm stupid. Right. Well, see, that's a big issue. Right? Big issue. You're sitting there saying, because I'm stupid... It is just fucking knocking yourself well, down for the point of doing the best of me. That's why. Okay. So uh, fuck your emotions, right? Hey, look, mm -hmm. Carlo's awake. <sighs> Don't mind me. Oh, no. Hello. Hello. Long time no speak. How you been? Uh, I've been all right. How, how you been? Oh, you know, living my long best life. Time. Just doing my normal, yeah. normal fucking Reggie things. You know, living, breathing. Yeah, basically that. It. You know who I saw like three weeks ago was Brandon. Why? No, he just popped up out of nowhere like three weeks ago, and then oh, you that, saw that's it. him. I, never oh, saw okay. like... I thought it was fucking yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hey, What's up? I'll... Quick question, quick question, yeah? Yeah, um, yeah, what's up? Oh, no. Quick, quick question. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I, what what do you like with, um? how do I word this? How do I fucking word this? Um, I'm trying to think of a tactful way to word this. I mean, you can just say it how it is. Uh, you know. right, right. Well, I mean, I could, I could put the, the way that I normally say things and you'd probably end up getting bent out of shape. Um, and nah, upset about it. I won't get bent. I, I don't. I don't take offense right. to anything. Go ahead. But you, you don't think you're gonna get bent out of shape about it? Okay. Well, when you get bent out of shape about it, right? And, okay. and then want to do something about it, I'm just gonna bring back the point where you told me you wanted me to, to Reggie fight. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and then yeah, that's, go for that's, it. That's, that's gonna show you that you, you're kind of look. It really takes a lot to, 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 to like bother me. I'm, I'm gonna right. be honest. So, so go for it. So, so what the fuck happened with Arya? Uh, what? I mean, what do you know? What do you mean? What do I know? I just want to know why Arya's been fucked up. Oh, why she got fucked up? Yeah. Uh, just because she was being a snake. Right. 
So so then that leads me to my next right. question, right? Is, is if you think right. someone's being a snake, why do you keep in contact with them? Uh, she keeps trying to contact me. I've rarely responded. Right. Okay. Oh, no. Interesting. Yeah. So, so what you're telling yeah. me is you want nothing to do with Aria and you're not going to do anything again. Uh, no, I'm, I didn't plan on doing anything again. Right. Okay. But, but you didn't answer the question on if you want anything to do with Aria. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I, unless for some reason something were to come up that it would involve her, and then obviously I would deal with it then, but I don't necessarily feel a need to... Like, I haven't seen her since then or anything like that. Mm, mm. It was, I, mean, well, I it, guess I did see her once. I guess I did see her once. But other than that, uh, that's about it. I, I'm curious on the whole uh, uh, removing the fingertips. Well, what led you to that? Uh, that necessarily wasn't me. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So so you didn't do that. Okay. Uh, what, mm -hmm. about, what about the waterboarding? The fuel? Is that you? Uh, I guess, yeah. I was a part of that, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And the setting on fire kind of thing too, yeah? Uh, no, that part wasn't me. Right, right, right. Okay, the, the shooting. Yeah, that was me. Right. Okay. See, so hmm. Weren't you dating her? Uh, technically, yeah. Okay, uh, and then you just do a full 180 because you think that she's a snake and you do those things. I didn't think. I mean, she kind of self-admitted. Right. What What is it that she admitted? Because I feel like I'm missing a piece to the puzzle here. Um. Basically, uh, you know, she was just giving hey, information mate. over to people. Okay. And she like, you know, she originally like lied about it like once, and then like a little truth came out, and then lied about more, and then like more came out. She like exactly. slowly started revealing more and more until the point where it was like, you know. Okay. So it was like, I, how do I know when the, the the full truth is out, right? You know what I mean? Hmm. Hey, right. Relax. Okay. So I'm still I'm still a little bit lost on uh, this whole snake part and where where it fits in. Hey, right. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't. I mean, that part doesn't really matter, right? I mean, the part you're saying to say is if, if I try to keep in contact with her, and that that's not really true. I mean, she's texted me a lot and. Occasionally, I'll, I'll reply something short, and that's about it. Okay, so why do you even reply then, though? Uh, I don't know. I just reply. I don't know. I just choose to reply, just to reply. I don't. I don't really know. Can't really give an answer for that. I guess. I mean, dude, usually when I do things to people, yeah, uh, like if I right. if I torture the fuck out of someone, even if they send right. me a message, I ain't talking to them again. So I'm confused on that. Hey, right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we're no. different people, right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong with that. You're not wrong with that. You, you're definitely a different person than what I fucking knew you for. That was something. Um, hmm, hmm. I don't really remember you would uh, be going down this kind of a path to torture someone. Um, I mean, yeah, I just wasn't, uh, I mean, to be honest, I just wasn't around as much as I was. I wasn't involved with as much, you know? Right, right. Okay, so you're telling me that you're done with it now, right? You're not right. going to be doing it again, yeah? Oh no, I didn't. I, I didn't have any intentions or or uh, plans to, like uh, to do anything like that. No. Okay. Again. Right. So so maybe yeah. maybe I can give you a little bit of uh, red gear advice. Maybe it might be a smart idea not to respond. That's fair. Yeah. 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 yeah if you just I mean, keep yourself works. out of the equation completely right uh, then right then there is no more fucking intertwining yourselves in shit all right and yeah of course then, then there's going to be nothing more that comes from that yeah yeah i mean there wouldn't be really nothing any of it anyways but uh hmm. yeah like i said i mean she's just been texting me saying like she wanted closure or something like that but i was you know I've just been doing my own thing, and then throughout the day, like, okay, I'll send over a short reply or something, you know what I mean? I just, yeah, I guess I shouldn't reply, I don't know. I just always reply to, like, everything sometimes, I don't know. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and so, so this whole torture session, did you get what you wanted out of it? 
Uh, I'd say so, yeah. But you also don't know whether or not you got everything from what you said before. I'd say I got enough. And there's also there's also this other point that needs to be made, right? I learned this a long time ago, right? Long yeah. time ago. Yeah, what's up? Is when you torture mm. someone, you tend to get the answers you want, right? Because they end up giving them up for you for the simple point right, right. of trying to get you to stop. So I never believe a single thing that someone tells me when I torture them. Right. Well. Yeah. That's just me, right? Because I've been fucked That's over me. too many times from it and shit just doesn't end up adding up later on. But I never really act yeah. on what someone tells me when I torture them because, again, they just want you to stop. That's I do fair. it more for fun. Right. Yeah. So th that's also a good question. Was it fun for you, Carla? Um... I don't know if it was fun, but it wasn't, like, bad. Like, it didn't bother me, but it, it wasn't, like, fun, you know? Like, oh. I like drinking for fun, you know what I mean? Like, that's fun. Oh. This was more like a, just a... Okay. T I don't know. I, I like fucking with people for fun. That's usually where I get my fun. I mean, I could fuck with people I don't really like, but I, I had nothing yeah. against Ari up till this point, so... I guess so, you know. Fine. Uh, so, you think you got what you needed out of it? And uh, you're okay with what you did for it. Uh -huh. I, I'm still missing something here as to... Hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, as long as you said what you said, you know, it's not going to be something that happens again, then it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I never, like, threatened it again or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. No, because I I'd hate to see Arya get fucked up again. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't like again. I I didn't have necessarily fun with it. I spent a lot of time with her before this all went down. Oh, I'm quite aware. Uh, you know, last yeah. time last time we spoke, uh, Arya and I, uh, she was singing all the mm. praises about you. So that's why it's confusing for me that I wake up a week later, uh, and then Arya's all kinds of fucked up. Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess it's, I was just as confused as you are, except with the fact of, like, why she was doing things, you know, behind my back, I guess, so. You know, sometimes the answers we look for when we do these things uh, aren't always the right ones. Just remember that for the future. Yeah, right, of course. Because uh, there's always easier ways to get information from people uh, than leading down the route of pain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like I said, you'll end up getting the right answers then instead of them just telling you whatever the fuck you want to hear. Yeah, of course. Well, it sounds the like thing is, though, is, you know, she kind of m fucked herself like the day bef like before the torture. You know what I mean? Well, and, and did you talk to her about it or did you just go straight in swinging for the torture? Uh, tried talking about it. Tried being around the bush about it, but just nothing was there. Well, I mean, that's the point, though, right? You wanted me to be straight with you, and I'm being straight with you, yeah? Right. Uh, but you, yeah, you're yeah. talking about beating around the bush with someone that you're in a relationship with. It you know, doesn't fucking make sense to me. If you've been with that person enough and you've been around them long enough, you should just be straight shooting with them, yeah? Because uh, then, I mean, that's not fair. Gonna straight shoot back, then you know that there's an issue there. I guess that's fair, yeah. Well, I mean, at least hopefully from this talk, you've learned a few things. Because uh, uh, like I said, uh, you know, getting that information through torture, I'd never trust a word that people say through torture. That's the truth of it. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Because if I was to, for example, grab you up and start torturing you for information and I wasn't happy with what I heard and continue doing it, eventually you're going to break to the point where you're just going to start saying what I want, wouldn't you? You just want it to stop. Uh, maybe I don't know. Because I mean, what's the quick, what's the quick done dastard after that? You, I get to hear what you think. I want to hear. You think I'm done? I shoot you. Your pain's gone. Right. Right. It's done. Right. Right. But but if you don't, and then I continue pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, for example, peeling the skin back off your palm and exposing all the nerve endings there and attacking each individual one 
So you start singing right, like right. Canary, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Then you're just going to start spitting whatever the fuck I want just to make that shit stop. Right, right. Right. So, you know, it's a, it's a common misconception that people love torturing for uh, for answers because those answers aren't the ones that you really fucking want. I can tell you that much. No, oh, yeah, I get that. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, I just wanted to catch up with you to, to, see, oh, yeah, to, to see what's happening and just to make sure that uh, uh, we ain't going to have no fucking repeats of this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there shouldn't be unless um, something else comes up again, then there will be. Okay, I'll tell you what. If something else comes up again, how about you come talk to me, straight shoot with me, and we'll see. Yeah? Because like I said, I'd hate to see Arya get fucked up again. I mean, I mean that's fair. I mean, are you like... Is she like a good friend of yours now? Or, or do you guys know each other? I've known her for a very long time. Oh, very okay. long time. That's fair. We used to work That's at fair, Harmony then. together. So we're talking a few years gotcha. kind of shit. Okay? Gotcha. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, like I said, if anything else pops up and you want to talk about it, you know where to find me. Give me a call. You can see if we can right. come to the bottom Sounds of good. things, right? Because uh, information is easier talked about than tortured about. Yeah? Yeah, of course. All right, Carla, you have a good day. Yeah, appreciate it. Take care. See you, mate. You think he got the point? Mm. Th I mean, I could only hear one side of the conversation, but I, I would say so. Yeah, you think I was subtle enough about it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's like, like a, a soft intimidation, you know? Soft press. Yeah. Uh. Now we see if he's dumb enough to take the bait and do something about it. Okay. Alright, I will. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Alright. Hey, Aria. Oh, yeah. While I'm having a look over this, I suggest you don't talk to Carlo anymore. Okay. Oh. Say less. What mm. did he say on the phone with you? Uh, he believes that he got the information that he wanted out of you, but I said to him, like you would have heard, you don't get the right information out of torturing someone. It's a very common misconception. People think it's a smart idea. I'm going to torture this person for information. They don't think that maybe people just want the pain to fucking stop. Yeah? So you'll end up fucking saying whatever you want. Me, like about torturing me first. He just tortured me. No, when I asked him about that, he said he beat around the bush a little bit, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, why won't you straight shoot? And you've been with someone long enough for that shit. You should just be asking the questions. He was like, oh, yeah, fair enough. Right. So, it's, um... Hmm. I did give the subtle hint of him that, uh... Sent hint to him that, uh... That I'd hate to see something happen again. So hopefully he understands that. Or, he's gonna take it the other way and he's gonna try and prove a point. And then that'd be his fucking downfall. I just suggest you stay away from him. Yeah, I will. That's why I've been hiding out at Hayes with everyone, because it's oh, yeah. the way, even though he works there, he never fucking goes there, ever. Okay, let me have a look at this. Kind of weird that he was like, why are you so close with people from Seaside? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh, well, you, you talk to Dragon all the time. I was like, not really. Well, now I do, but that's a different story. And then he's like, oh, and you were talking to Reggie and you were talking to Smalls for a few minutes that one night. Being super weird about it. Okay, so according to this, um, the reason why Lang was brought into it is because Ash stated she saw Lang um, at Crystal, saw looking for Crystal. Um, 
people having a look. So she remembers getting dropped off. Another officer saw Lang running around MRPD lobby with his blue and coloured GTR parked out the front. Okay, right. So I can see, I can see why Eve has uh, been pulled into this. Um, this is why you don't text, guys. Mm -hmm. um, playing text Eve, can you lock the office? Eve responds 10 seconds later, yeah. Eight seconds later, Lang uh, responds, watch outside for me. And then later on, uh, Lang texts Eve, unlock. Right? So now you can see why texting people is dumb. Especially when you're doing something dumb. I'm continuing down. This is an interesting one. 2044. Langbotter calls Kyle Pratt and informs him of the kidnapping. How does how do they know that it was informing of the kidnapping? That's a bit of a fucking reach. They've got location data of them being in the same area, so I'm still trying to find where you come into this other than the start. Other than the fact that I called her to make a date. So they don't have fuck all on you other than the fact that you called to meet. Which is, it's, it's circumstantial, sure, right? Is it enough to charge you with the things to say that you actually had anything to do with it? Do they have any further calls between you and those people at that time? No. So the reason why they're charging you is because you brought her down there. Interesting. Very weak at best. I will uh, be outrunning that warrant. I mean, you, you could outrun it or, right? So they've got things in here that says that you, that you, you fucking... Aria is Eve Summer's daughter and is dating Carlos from the Italian. How do they even know what that you're that dating? What have to do with it? I have no fucking clue. So, I mean, you could outrun it or you could challenge it. And the reason that you could challenge it is the fact that you were also attacked. Now, here's the kicker, right? Here's the kicker, though. Is you would have to talk about you being attacked by the Italian. That's how you get out of it. True. Now, in doing that, you'd be doing it to clear your name only, not to push charges on the Italians for what happened. Because that's none of PD's business. It's a separate thing. Yeah? Nope. So you could do that or you could just outrun. Now because it's a cop, 
chances are this is going to be um they're gonna get an extension for it possibly two extensions um the chances are you'd be trying to outrun this for for like a week or two okay and then when it comes to that if i get caught then i will uh bench track okay so Eric was talking and saying about how he thinks that you, that this would be a little bit big for a bench trial. I beg to differ, right? Because when we look at it, he did give me a different report number. I need to find out about the, this one. But from what I'm looking at in this report that was attached to the subpoena, is you are barely fucking mentioned other than calling. Work for lang yeah. multiple lang businesses. That that's not enough for me to say that yes, you are the one that lured them down there. There's a, there's a hunch that that could be, but I can tell you what, that's a big fucking reach. Because again, they have all these records between even Lang, but fucking nothing on you. That's what we call a coincidence. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Oh, yes, yes, exactly. What if pawns away? I'm gonna try pawns. Talking to Bloom is like talking to a wall sometimes. Pawns away. The Italians don't like it. Interested to see what Carlo does with his next moves. Should be fun. I, I don't I don't need three. All you need to do is just stay away from him. Simple. True. Very simple. Because he said he's not going to do anything unless anything else comes up. And I said, well, if something else comes up, how about you come talk to me first? We can see if we can get to the bottom of it. So. Now, now, I just hope for your sake that you don't lie to me. Lie to me. Probably one of the worst things to do to me. You could stab me, you could shoot me. It's not as bad as lying to me. Make sure you don't ever do that. I have no reason to lie right now. I'm talking about in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a... Nice friendly warning. People lie to me, it, it's not good for them. Well. Right. So, I think our, our therapy session went well. Um, I think that Carlo should understand at this point that he probably shouldn't try and hurt you again. Should just stay in his lane and stay away. I suggest you do the same. Yep. Right. And then just move on from it. If in the future you do end up getting the sudden urge to want to plunge a fucking knife into his throat, oh, well, good luck. Just make sure you don't fuck up. Yeah? Yeah, I don't want the Italians to know it was me because they'll come after me again. Just send Ellie after him. Easy. <laughs> you got this yeah, right, Ellie? She... Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I have there an arsenal of weapons on me at any given moment. Right. Okay. Hmm. See, with me, I always carry zip ties and duct tape. Kind of fucked up, but I've got them. Uh. Yep, nope, definitely have that too in my little pouch. Uh. What the fuck you guys have pouches? Oh, well, I don't have a pouch. They just sit in my pockets, uh. ready to fucking go. I want to have to fuck around with the pouch to get them out. Fuck that. I just need to get a tarp. You know? Makes it easier for cleanup. True. Throw it out after you're done. What's that? Do you just throw it out after? No, you don't throw it out. That's stupid. You burn it. Hello? Oh, Why'd okay. you fucking throw it out? Sorry, I wasn't being neutral. You, you, you burn the evidence. Yeah, because then there's no trace. Oh. After you, you, you fucking bottle up their fingers. All right. Well, this has been fun. Good job, team. All right. Same time next week. Nope. Oh. 
<laughs> my therapy my therapy sessions are very expensive. <laughs> I need to unlock it first. Oh, okay. There you go. Off to the main floor you go. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bossy Mick Reggie said. <laughs> Righto, hop along back into the car. I am a fucked up individual. Carl, thank you for gifting the tier one. All right, so what are you doing with yourself now? Uh, nothing. I've literally been hiding either at Hayes or the Yokai house. I love that you hide at Hayes, but you don't want to fucking work there. That's fucking boring. Oh, I just don't want to be a mechanic again. Oh, you'd rather just be like a, a doll bludger. Take, fucking, take money from the my government. My hands are killing me, man. Hide it up! I'm, I'm not happy. How many times is that now? Six times? So it's been about six times that it's dropped out. This is fucking fantastic. Six times in under three hours. This is not good. I did a one. I need to find out why it's dropping. It's just not it, man. Because it just drops more frames really quick. <laughs> 